Getting unpolluted power to the people has always been a prickly business. And with global warming and global demand for energy on the rise, it's getting even harder. But maybe coal, one of the dirtiest of all fossil fuels, could be the solution. The trick? Capture the carbon emissions produced when burning coal and store it deep below ground, possibly in old oil wells, to stop it getting into the atmosphere. So far, the idea of green coal is all theory. What the power companies want to do is prove the science. It isn't easy, it isn't cheap, and it's never before been attempted on this scale. People have worked on pilot plants, um, small demonstration plants, taking slipstreams of, of gas and proving that we can capture it. Someone actually needs now to, to put the whole lot together um, and make it work, and there, there will be problems in doing that. Energy giant E.ON wants to be the first to build a clean, coal-fired power plant using this new technology. In this field, next to one of their ageing power stations, which is due to close within a decade. We really do need to find a way to clean up coal so we can make sure that it is a viable fuel source as we move forward towards this low-carbon economy and future that we're looking for. China is opening two coal-fired power stations every week, burning two and a half billion tonnes of coal a year to feed the burgeoning growth of its remarkable economy. Environmentalists concede wind and wave power aren't yet ready to fill the energy gap. If we were prepared to put a lot of money now into researching carbon capture and storage, and then transfer those technologies to India and China to ensure that as soon as they're available, the, those countries that have huge populations desperately needing power can, can have those technologies and use them, uh, then actually probably uh, by the latter part of the, the next decade we could stop the worst of emissions in fact. And it would in addition see old King Cole making the greenest of comebacks. Richard Bester, Al Jazeera, Kings North Power Station, England.